do No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call Everybody. It is Wednesday the 12th of October as I'm filming this. <laughs> I've not long been back from town, I got back about 10 minutes or so ago and I've just poured myself a, a cold coffee um, in this cup because um, I'm very very warm and sticky <laughs> having walked. I had to take my coat off halfway because I got a little bit warm and I was a bit thirsty so I just thought I'm gonna have a nice refreshing chilled coffee. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've just got back from town not long ago. Um, as you saw, I was like walking down into town. Um, I dropped the kids off at school this morning, obviously got them all ready, got myself ready. Uh, and then straight after taking them to school, I walked uh, straight down into town. I wanted to just have a nice walk into town and it was it's a nice dry day. Um, there's a little bit of sunshine that sort of like comes creeping out, but it's a little bit cloudy out there as well now. Um, so it's a little bit on and off, but at least it's not raining. <laughs> so it's another reason why I decided to walk. And also I wanted to get my nails done, which as you saw, I had them done. I, I showed you a before and after shot at the beginning of this video. Um, so yeah, I went through a nice um, sort of slightly shimmery midnight blue kind of color. It has got a slight shimmer. You probably might not be able to see it properly in, in this camera, but yeah, it's got a little bit of glitter to it. Nothing too crazy and nothing too sparkly, but yeah, just very subtle. So I thought that was quite a nice, uh, nice color to go for. I popped into Savers, um, a discount shop in town, uh, after I had my nails done, and then I popped into Sainsbury's for a couple of bits that I couldn't get in Savers, and um, I just thought I'm gonna go home and just sort of like chill out for the rest of the day now, and um, you know, not even wait around for the bus or whatever. A nice walk back, which I haven't done in a long time. Normally I sort of like walk down and then I bus back because the timing is normally like five or 10 minute wait for the bus, and then I think I may as well get it. Um, I didn't have much to carry back with me, I only had a few bits, so. I just thought, do you know what, rather than wait until kind of like 20 past 11 where I would have literally just been getting off the bus, um, I may as well just walk back and get some extra exercise. <laughs> so that's what I did. So um, hence why I got a bit hot and sticky and yet it, it, I, got, I kind of got finished with my nails at about 10 past quarter past 10 and then I just left the nail place and just went to the couple of shops that I needed to go to. Um, so I'll show you those bits that I got, uh, just a few random purchases, nothing too exciting but I'll, I'll take you through them anyway in just a moment. Um, so today, uh, being the 12th of October, as I'm filming this, as I said, is also my birthday. Woo -woo! I'm 43 years old. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And to be honest, I don't actually feel any different, to be fair. Um, I don't feel different than to what I did a year ago um, or even a couple of years ago, really. Although obviously, yeah, sort of a couple of years before that, I, I turned 40 and it was kind of like, wow, okay, I've changed a decade. <laughs> I'm into a new decade now. So um, yeah, I mean, but in terms of like the last couple of years, certainly I, I, it wasn't much of a difference. Um, so uh, yeah, 43 today is crazy. As I mean, as I'm filming this, obviously, yeah, my birthday, as you're watching this, it would have been a few days or so ago, depending on when you get around to seeing this. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna have a chilled out day today. Um, nothing too crazy or anything. Um, I have got a little bit of tidying up to do. Um, I've got those obviously the shopping bits to put away, just a few things to, to do, a few odd jobs around the house, um, just sort of like putting the bedding away. I know it's a little bit late in the day. Normally I do that when I get back about half nine or whatever, or 20 past nine. 
Um, so normally I've kind of done it already a couple of hours ago um, when I dropped the kids off, but because I went straight into town, I didn't come back here. So I'm just gonna sort of clear the bedding away. And I also need to pick up a few bits and pieces, have a tidy up, because um, Zach's left a couple of bits on the side. And I've also got to put some clothes away um, of ours. There's a basket down um, where, where our space is and also the kids clothes um, there's a basket down here next to me so i need to do that i need to put a wash load in the tumble dryer and take the load that should have just finished this morning take that out um, and fold that up and add that to the other clothes that i've got to put away um, and i've also got to wash up um, because there's the stuff in there from last night which we didn't do um, i should really actually give the sinks and the drainer a little bit of a clean it needs to be done um, the draining board is looking a little bit scummy so um yeah so i need to do that so just basic bits really so the first thing i'm going to do is put the bedding away and just uh, tidy up a couple of bits and then it will be the washing up and cleaning the sinks and the drainer wiping the sides down um yeah just basic stuff like that and then i'll deal with the laundry but first i will take you over and just show you the few bits that i picked up from savers and sainsbury's and I'll also show you the few little bits that I got um, and the cards that I got for my birthday. If you saw the, the, the previous video that I uploaded, which was the Harry Potter tour vlog, you'll see that I actually got my birthday presents a little bit early, <laughs> a couple of weeks early, because it was my birthday coming up and Neil said, oh, I'll, you know, I'll get you a couple of bits from the gift shop, um, the Harry Potter tour. So um, I got my Harry Potter hoodie and my interactive Marauder's Map toy thing <laughs> um yeah i know a bit childish but hey ho i saw it and i loved it and i was kind of like oh 50 pounds it's quite expensive just for a novelty a novelty gift or a novelty thing but neil sort of said no you want it you've got a birthday in a couple of weeks i'll get it for you um and the hoodie as well so uh yeah bless his heart so he got me those so i kind of like had my birthday gifts and i mean he said to me just the other day what do you want for your birthday and i said well i've already had my gifts <laughs> Um, I don't expect anything. I said, if you really want to get me something, just get me a card or a box of chocolates or flowers or whatever, but you know, that's fine. Just a card will do. So, um, as it turned out, I got a box of chocolates each from the kids. So, uh, Zach gave me a box of chocolates. Mimi gave me a box of chocolates and I also got a lovely big bunch of flowers from Neil um, and I have two bunches of flowers um, which I need to put in a vase and arrange uh, sort of like rearrange a little bit um, because Saturday last weekend when Neil went shopping he got me some flowers like he regularly does anyway like every week he'll get me a bunch or maybe a couple of bunches of flowers bless him it's just a thing that he does now because he's the one that goes food shopping either after work or you know he'll go off or whatever maybe take one of the kids or both the kids sometimes um and yeah he'll he'll just go and just randomly get me a bunch of flowers a couple of bunches of flowers it's become like a a thing <laughs> it's not that he does anything wrong he's not trying to make up for anything he's not trying to say sorry he's not trying to creep around me it's just bless his heart he just does it now it's become a habit um which is very very sweet so um, so yeah, I've got those two. They've been, they've literally just been in a vase of water and I need to do something with them. I did this morning have to get rid of my other bunch of flowers that he'd got me from the week before because the petals were falling off. They were like lilies and there was pollen dropping everywhere that, where they were kind of dying. So I had to get rid of those. Uh, I threw those away this morning, um, ready for doing these new flowers. So uh, yeah, the space is clear for them. So I need to get those done as well. But I will um, do those after I've tidied up and put stuff away and washed up. I will take you across and show you the shop things that I got, the few random purchases, and then I'll show you like my birthday cards and the flowers and the chocolates. And uh, yeah, and then we'll get tidying up. So just a few random bits here that I got from um, Sainsbury's and Savers, which is like a discount uh, odds and ends shop in town. Um, so this I got from Savers. It's a small eyeshadow palette. I thought it was really, really nice. It was only sort of like two and a half pounds or something. So I thought that's absolutely perfect. I really, really like the colors. Uh, it's called Dazzle Eyeshadow. It's like a Savers own brand, I think, because uh, they do bits and pieces of makeup as well as like the brand ones like Rimmel and Maybelline and Max Factor, I think. But I spotted that one and I thought, oh, that's really nice. And it just saves me lugging <laughs> my other huge eyeshadow palette that I've got around uh, when I sort of 
um, if we go away or we go camping or something like that I don't have to take that with me and also it's just easier just to put in the, the one case with all the rest of my makeup for when I do my makeup in the kitchen in the mornings so I've got that excuse my sniffing I've got a runny nose because <laughs> I've just got back um, and then I got a tube of Smarties um, they're actually for me not for the kids I spotted them in savers and they're only a pound and I thought I'm going to get some of those because I'm going to have a lovely bath later, maybe with a glass of red wine and I'm going to take some Smarties in with me. <laughs> um, and speaking of my bath later, I'm going to light this candle as well. I'm going to take that in with me um, and maybe try that out. And it's just a Glade scented candle. It's a limited edition. I think it's perhaps sort of maybe more some people would kind of have it for. Uh, like more into winter and Christmas but it's apple cozy cider um, I don't know maybe it's more of a Christmas thing but I just thought it would actually be quite nice for this time of year for autumn fall going into winter so that should be really nice um, and then I also got this uh, it's like a Zoflora disinfectant it's kind of similar but it's Floella so it's Saver's own brand and that's Midnight Blossom. I thought I would try that because I kind of steam the floors with that and I put that in the sinks and everything to disinfect the cloths and uh, washing up sponges and things. Um, so that was from Savers. And then I forgot to actually look in Savers for some tea gel while I was in there. So um, the next place I went after Savers was Sainsbury's anyway because there was a couple of things that I couldn't get in Savers that I had to get in Sainsbury's. Um, so I had to get it from Sainsbury's which probably would have been a couple of pounds dearer, <laughs> would have been more expensive than in Savers. I probably could have got this for a five, five pounds but this was seven pounds. It's a big bottle. Um, it's just some tea gel shampoo because my head of late and my scalp has been a little bit itchy and dry and I've been using this um, and I've kind of like, you know, down to like the last, maybe the last wash in the bottle so I knew I had to get some more um so i mean this will last me probably about a month because i don't wash my hair every day i only wash it sort of maybe a couple of times a week so yeah that will hopefully last me a little while best part of a month uh, maybe a bit longer i got some laundry pearls as well i had to get those in sainsbury's but they're the sainsbury's own ones um i did want to get them in savers because they're only like 150 or something in savers for their own brand but they didn't have any and they had lots of uh lenore i think it is unstoppables but they were like six pounds seven pounds and i thought i'll just see if i can get the sainsbury's own brand this time then i got a multi-pack of haribo sweet mix they're just jelly sweets individually wrapped um, we don't normally get trick-or-treaters for halloween and i know it's a couple of weeks or so away yet but I just thought I would perhaps kind of have some in a bucket ready just in case we do get an odd knock on the door and uh, I don't want to find myself stuck for <laughs> giving out sweets and stuff. So um, that'd be fine. And then I can just, uh, if we don't get anybody or if there's loads left over, I can just put them in the cupboard for the kids. They can just have a bag here and there. Um, and also I got these two little net packs of chocolate pumpkins, these little milk chocolate pumpkins. Um, I've got one for each of the kids. Uh, they can have those like nearer to Halloween. Um, they're not going to, I'm not going to give them to them yet. I'll just have to hide them away because <laughs> I was eat them and then they'll still want more uh, Halloween. Um, and like I say, it's a couple of weeks away yet. So yeah, um, so that's uh, a few random purchases that I got. Um, yeah, very, very random. Sainsbury's and Savers. Um, and here are my birthday cards and you can see my two boxes of Rose's chocolates in the back there. <laughs> um, so that one that one i had a, a lovely card um it was printed i think it was like moon pig or something it was for my brother and his wife and my niece and nephew it was a lovely one um i'll show you that one in a second um i had a i've got a, another birthday card there it's a pug one um and that was from neil's mum and stepdad and their new puppy dog bailey because they've just recently picked up a little puppy dog um we've yet to meet her but um yeah really looking forward to it the kids are a little bit unsure i think they're a bit nervous but i'm really looking forward to snuggles and meeting her um and then i got another card from my aunt and uncle that's one of my dad's brothers and his wife and then this one i got from zach this is zach's birthday card he wrote it out wrote the envelope and everything bless his heart I have a feeling that um, when Neil came home from work yesterday I think um, the kids disappeared both of them in the bedroom in Amelia's bedroom with him and I have a feeling that's when they did it while I was out here cooking dinner and stuff <laughs> um, I didn't let on that that's what I figured it was but I, I'm pretty sure that's what it was that he was kind of sorting that out um, and then this one I got this lovely princess one uh, it says mummy from Amelia it's got a princess and a unicorn in it very very cute so she wrote that herself 
and then this gorgeous one is from Neil. Um, it's like sort of little dogs. Um, to my wife. And then there's a page, another page, a couple of pages inside. Um, it's got like flowers and just very romantic, very sweet. And yeah, and then he's giving her flowers and um, yeah, just have a wonderful birthday, whatever. And then yeah, he's just signed it now with a few kisses. Nothing hugely lovey dovey, but it's it's very very sweet. I always keep the um, the birthday cards um, and the Christmas cards actually that the kids give me and Neil gives me. Um, just as mementos. I mean, to be fair, the other ones I just I kind of keep for a week or so. I have them up, and then um, and then obviously I kind of had to get rid of them because if I kept all of the cards that I ever get, um, I'd be inundated by now. <laughs> I'd have boxes and boxes of just old birthday and Christmas cards, but I just do keep a select few. I must say because um, obviously it's it's uh, memories and things. It's for my husband and my kids, so <laughs> it'd be something for them to look back on and be like, oh my god, look, is that my writing when I was like seven and five? So um, yeah, so that's my cards. And then like I say, I got um, a box of roses each from the kids. Uh, they got me a box each. Um, Zach came through with this this morning after Neil took him off into Amelia's room to, to give him the card and the present uh, to give to me. And uh, he came in and handed me this box of chocolates and his card and I opened the card and read it. And then um, Amelia went in and she came out with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> with the same thing a card and a box of roses so I've got two boxes which is lovely this is the beautiful bunch of flowers that Neil got me for my birthday today he presented me with these this morning and the card from him so I've got a lovely load of flowers to arrange I think I might actually just arrange them in the same vase all together um, I have got a vase where like I say I got rid of the old ones I've got a vase there I just want to kind of wash up quickly just give that a rinse out and then I'll fill that with water these are the flowers the lily new lilies that Neil got me when he went shopping last weekend um, and here we are Wednesday and I've still yet to sort them out yeah I just need to put all this bedding away and just straighten the cushions and stuff on the sofa and uh, yeah just have a basic tidy up just whiz the vacuum all through the house um, it's not too bad there's not too much to do uh, and I need to wash up and uh, yeah just get the sides wiped down and um, get the drainer you can see the, the sinks are looking a little bit scummy as well those need to go in the wash bin and the this is the basket of clothes that I was talking about that need to go away they're the kids clothes um, and stuff that needs to go in Amelia's room um, there's some bedding and stuff that needs to go under her her desk under her bed and some towels that need to be put away Something in the So I'm going to put these few bits away and then I'll have a tidy up and hopefully I'll get back to you then. <laughs> And while I was here putting the bed in away, I decided to just strip off this duvet cover. It hadn't been changed in a couple of weeks. And although this bedding isn't really, really disgustingly dirty, it's only Amelia that sort of comes through after a couple of hours, sort of at some point during the night, and she sleeps on the sofa here. So it kind of gets put out for her really, or either of the kids sort of coming through during the night so they can sleep uh, sleep with it. Um, it wasn't really, really that bad, but it did need a freshen up. So I just decided to strip it off and uh, stick that in the wash. And then I did end up putting another another one on later on that evening.
So after the bedding was all put away and the cushions were rearranged and tidied up, I just gave the sofa a quick vacuum over because there were a few crumbs and things where the kids have been eating snacks and other bits and pieces on here from the night before and this morning. And then I'm just going to give the floor a vacuum as well. I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more. No, just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does a good run don't say we didn't i was your first love and you were my first one cheers to all the memories the venom and the remedies yeah promise i won't forget yeah. maybe it's something Now I'm just going to wash up all of this stuff in the sink here and then wipe the sides down and clean the sinks and the drainer.
Now I'm just changing the tea towel and the hand towel in the kitchen here and then I'll be arranging my flowers. Next, I just gave the kitchen floor a quick vacuum and in the hallway and in the utility as well. And then I just took that tumble drying out and put another load of washing, which I'd done that morning, put that in the tumble dryer as well to start drying. Look 
Okay, so I also wanted to show you a couple of bits that I got through the post that I ordered from eBay um, a week or so ago, and I got them for a few days ago, and I've just been waiting for uh, today to be able to show you. So I got this uh, pumpkin um, oil and wax burner. Um, it's obviously you just put a little tea light in the bottom. Um, there's a, a hole at the back, and yeah, you put a tea light in. You can put some oil with with some water in, essential oil, whatever fragrance you want. Or there's this little candle that it came with, um, which is a spice pumpkin scented one, uh, just like a little wax melt in the top. Um, I've also got these ones, which um, hopefully if you've seen my Halloween decorate video, you would have seen these when I put them out. Um, they're just little pumpkin shaped ones. Um, and I've also got these other wax melts that are heart shaped. Um, and I have been using this one, but I didn't want to kind of, um, whereas these arrived a few days ago, I didn't want to actually use them until today when I showed you um, before I started burning anything in them. So um, yeah, I'm going to light that one, I think, uh, today. Uh, I'm not I'm probably going to keep hold of that one, but I'm going to use one of these little pumpkin, or maybe a couple of these pumpkin wax melts in here and uh, pop it in the top there and then put a tea light in and uh, yeah just melt those make it smell nice um, and I'll probably I'll probably leave that um, in that tray for another time um, and then also so I've got a pumpkin one and then I've also got um, I ordered these little Halloween um, scented or the Halloween themed um, wax melts as well so um, they're kind of like in in sort of like Halloween shape so we've got a couple of little witch hats um, and some skulls and um, I think there's a couple of bats um, yeah all different fragrances um, a couple of pumpkins and um, I'll just tell you what the fragrances are of them they I thought they sounded quite nice and apparently on the description on the description uh, on eBay that I, where I got them from they apparently are really apparently they're really strong scented ones excuse my arm in the way um, so I've got a Hocus Pocus one, um, I've got a Cauldron one, Dragon's Blood, Witch's Brew, Frosted Pumpkin, Happy Halloween, Toffee Apple and Toasted Marshmallow and that's what they they look like, I guess they give you some idea um, and I can't remember how much these were, I think they, they weren't too expensive, I think they were less than £10 or something but um, I just thought they would uh, they would do along with those little Halloween faces and those other wax melts and that one obviously that I got with the pumpkin uh, that'll probably be good even for this for this year uh, alone or this year and next year or maybe a couple of years actually because um, I tend to kind of melt a couple at a time and then I obviously like blow the tea light out or the candle out and then I'll uh, relight a tea light next time I want to kind of burn them and I'll just use the same wax um, a number of times before I actually get rid of it and change the fragrance so um, as well as the fact that I mean I've got that spare one um, there which I need to clean up um, but I've, I've got two now um, that I'll be using for like Halloween and, and whatever so um, I've got three so I could actually have like three different scents or three or four different scents if I wanted to <laughs> going at the same time for different rooms so I've got that pumpkin one um, and the other one that I got was a, it's a cauldron and it says witch's brew on the front and you can see I've literally just taken out the box of the polystyrene it's still got I need to give it a wipe over because it's got the bits of polystyrene and fluff and stuff on it so yeah it just says witch's brew it's sort of like in the shape of a cauldron with the two little handles and it's got like a couple of stars um the the holes um on the front and on the back as well um so I thought that'd be quite a nice one for um lead up to Halloween I'll maybe pop a couple of these these Halloween wax melts in there but I'm actually waiting for um, um, the kids to get back from school later because Amelia wants uh, to have um, one or two of these on the go so I said that she could um, uh, I said that we could like she could choose a couple and then we could put them in this one and uh, melt them um, so I'm gonna leave that one I'm not gonna actually put anything in that for now I'll just let Amelia choose the wax melts and I'm just gonna choose a wax melt or two um, probably the little pumpkin faces over there just uh, yeah pop those in in the top here and uh, put a tea light in and light this one um, for now and then just leave that one for later for um, wait for Amelia to choose which one or two she wants of these new ones 
because she was quite keen on, <laughs> on melting those later. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground So by this time it was gone one o'clock and I thought I've got about an hour and a half before I have to go and pick the kids up from school so I'm going to sit and have some lunch which is a very rare treat. Normally I um, am a breakfast skipper and more often than not I'm, an, I'm a lunch skipper as well. <laughs> I know it's not the healthiest but yeah uh, normally because I'm so busy with filming or editing or just doing bits and pieces around the house I either like completely forget the time and forget to eat or I just don't feel hungry because I'm so busy um, but on this occasion because I think I'd walked into town and walked back I got a lot of fresh air and a lot of exercise and I'd just been doing a few bits and pieces I just uh, I just obviously got hungry on this particular day so I thought we're well, seeing as I've got an hour or so um, hour and a half before I have to go and pick the kids up I'm just going to have a well-deserved sit down on my birthday <laughs> and just kill some time and watch a little bit of television, which is, like I say, very, very unusual because I don't normally get a chance. So I just decided to make myself some lunch. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it on my own. On my own. So I've just made myself some lunch because um, all that walking I did this morning and just clearing up and tidying up and bits and pieces, it's made me a bit hungry. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd make myself a cheese and cucumber sandwich and I've put a couple of packs of these cheesy puffs out on the plate and some olives 
and some ripened tomatoes and these little cheese cubes. It was like a, a pack of mixed olives and things. And uh, yeah, I've just burnt, and I've um, topped up my chilled coffee in my cup. Um, so I've got a drink. So I'm gonna sit and eat this now and uh, I'm gonna maybe have a flick through the television um, for a bit and maybe see what's on Netflix or something um, and uh, eat my lunch and then after I finished eating my lunch um, I need to fold up that basket of cloves ready to put that away in a little while so um, yeah I'm gonna go and uh, have a good old munch <laughs> And I've started watching a really good series on Netflix, which was actually recommended by uh, the guy that Neil works with, uh, Neil's boss actually, and he said that he'd been watching a few episodes recently, and it's called The Midnight Club, it's on Netflix, so if you get a chance, um, maybe take a look at it if spooky stuff or Halloween-y kind of themed stuff is your thing, especially as we're in October, Halloween month. And um, yeah, it's it's worth a watch. I think it's um, it's kind of light-hearted. It's not really really scary, but it is a little bit on the creepy side in places. And there's a few jump scares and things like that. And uh, I'm really enjoying it anyway. I mean, it might not be for everybody, but um, yeah, I think it's certainly good. So I just thought I would watch uh, an, an episode which I'd started watching the night before, and um, I almost was falling asleep on. <laughs> I just decided to put that episode on and just finish watching it while I had some time. And as I said, I had this basket of tumble drying, which I'd taken out to fold up and add with the rest of the clothes to put away, which I ended up doing later on that night. So I just sat here and did that while I was uh, finishing watching this episode after I'd had my lunch. You know I don't lie, I really miss you now. But I had you where I wanted you, never had to ask, I'd set the world on fire. Hey 
everybody so it is 25 minutes to three and i've got to leave to pick kids up in about 15 minutes but yeah i've just been kind of like sat down i sort of had some lunch and i was watching um the midnight club which is uh yeah a new series that i've just recently started um I'm a few a few episodes in and uh yeah i've just been sort of like chilling out obviously i folded those uh, clothes up and just added those to the clothes that need to go away and uh, yeah, I, I did have every intention of putting the basket of clothes away and our clothes as well that are already down like in our space. But yeah, like I say, I haven't got, got around to it. So um, I'll do it as and when, either later on today or tomorrow. So, um, no huge plans for today. I haven't really done anything exciting, even though it's my birthday. I've just had a, a pretty chilled out, um, certainly a chilled out afternoon. Um, and yes, although I've obviously come back and just done, you know, like the regular basic tidy up that I would have done anyway, um, even though it's my birthday, that sort of thing, being a mum, <laughs> even with the kids being at school, that sort of thing doesn't actually necessarily come to a standstill. There's certain bits that I just wanted to get done. Um, rather than just leave them for poor Neil to do when he got home from work. It just, uh, yeah, I just kind of felt a bit unfair doing <laughs> doing that. So I thought, well, that's fine. I'll just like get those couple of bits done. Uh, and just for the last like hour or so, I've just been like sat down watching a couple of episodes of this Midnight Club. Um, so yeah, I've just turned it off now because I thought I'd really need to kind of uh, get up and sort of start moving again. I've gone into real lazy mode, <laughs> hence why I haven't actually put the clothes away that I was gonna put away, but it's fine. Like I said, they can wait. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be going to pick the kids up very shortly and then we're going to come back and yeah, maybe I'll just sort of like have a sit down or perhaps try and bring myself to kind of putting the clothes away then while they're sort of sat having a snack and, you know, having some iPad time and whatnot. Um, yeah, I need to obviously, yeah, when I, I obviously bring them back from school, um, their lunch bags and bags and stuff will be, need to be sorted out and, and just emptied and just gone through, see if they've bought their homework back for this week. Um, yeah, just stuff like that really, just get them settled settled down and obviously get their pyjamas and things out. Um, maybe see if can give them like an earlier shower or bath or something. Um, yeah, and just get them sorted. Um, I have to admit, like I say, where I've been sat down because I've done quite a bit of walking today, um, more than perhaps what I would have done and had a bit of a late night last night because I was watching an episode of The Midnight Club. <laughs> um, I didn't actually get to sleep till gone midnight. So uh, yeah, I'm sort of uh, having sat down for a little while which is something I wouldn't normally do. Normally I'd just like keep going, doing stuff. But yeah, just today I wanted to kind of take it a little bit easier because I thought, why not? It's my birthday. <laughs> I'll sort of like have a day off or half, at least half a day off. <laughs> um, but yeah, because of that, I've sort of gone into sleepy mode. So I just thought, right, I've been sat down for like an hour. I've got to get up because uh, yeah, otherwise I'm just gonna be almost like falling asleep. <laughs> um, so that's fine. Once I sort of like get going again, I'll hopefully be okay. And yeah, I can last, I may have a bit of an early night tonight or something after I've had my soak in the bath later um sort of get to bed a little bit earlier but yeah um so yeah I'll be leaving shortly to pick the kids up and yeah and then bring them back home from school and uh yeah see how I feel I may to be honest actually sit and do some editing because I have got a few reaction videos for my music reaction channel a little more of Lisa that I've also got on the go I need to edit and upload some reactions for tomorrow um, and also for Friday and for Sunday as well so I've got a lot of editing to do plus obviously I need to be editing uh, start editing this vlog as well to hopefully be able to put up Sunday so as you're seeing this it'll be Sunday or maybe afterwards depending on what you get when you get around to it <laughs> um, so yeah I've, I've got lots of editing to do which is definitely something I'm going to be doing for basically all day tomorrow but I could try and sort of like get a head start on it um, certainly as far as the reaction videos go once I get back with the kids um, and just sort of like chill out and then wait for Neil to get home and see what we have for dinner and and stuff I don't know I haven't actually really thought that far ahead to be honest I've just been enjoying some peace and quiet and some chill time which is something that doesn't normally happen I'm even normally filming or up cleaning or doing something so this afternoon has actually been quite a nice treat <laughs> to actually sit for an hour or so and do um, do nothing but just watch something on television that doesn't happen <laughs> usually so um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get my stuff together now. It is uh, just almost time. So um, yeah, I, I may check back with you in a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, um, 
yeah, we'll take it from there as to what I, <laughs> I end up doing. Probably editing when I get back, to be honest, after I've got the kid, kids settled for a little while. And uh, yeah, see if I can sort of cram an hour, hours editing, get a couple of reaction videos done. So I shall see you hopefully in a bit. And for dinner, we ended up having a Thai takeaway. So we just had a couple of chicken satay skewers and some egg fried rice and some padme noodles. Neil gave me the choice because it was my birthday. So I decided on a takeaway and it was delicious. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to mommy. Happy oh my God. Blow that out. Yeah, I can't play. <laughs> well, that's only right, isn't it? Jeepers. Bang! <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? It's only catches fire. No, it's just it's a fine work. Bang! It suddenly takes off. Oh, that was him. That's a long one. Daddy, that's a that long one. That is a long one. one. That's what she said. I'll have to remember to mute this audio. <laughs> Thank you guys. Your birthday's awesome. My birthday's awesome. Yay! Lovers And as I'd promised myself after dinner and after we'd got the kids all sorted and uh, settled in bed. I did run myself a lovely bath with a coke on the side random and a glass of red wine. I took the tube of Smarties in the bath with me and I did light a candle but it wasn't the candle that I was going to light. I ended up lighting another one because I had already had a lavender one on the go and I thought that'd be really nice. So I just had a soak in the bath for an hour and a half and watched some bits and pieces on YouTube and things like that and then had an early night. I was sort of in bed by 10 o'clock ish which is actually early for me. <laughs> There's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin So that is it for this day in the life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of our other videos. I try and post a video every Sunday and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.